Peru is the birthplace of ceviche, a dish that has now conquered the world. But although it may seem like a modern creation, ceviche can trace its roots to the Incas. Long before the Spanish introduced limes and other citrus fruits, the Inca were marinating raw fish with acidic fruits from the Amazon, such as tumbo, a type of passion fruit. Today's Peruvian chefs work with seafood beyond compare. At Lima's vast fish market, they can choose from a catch that is unsurpassed in variety and freshness. Raw scallops on the half shell, so pristine that they are shipped to France. Giant tunas, luminescent squid, flounder and corvina prized for ceviche. Groupers with rosy gills that testify to their freshness. Freshwater prawns and stone crabs to make a shellfish lover swoon. Over the last 20 years, Peruvians have modified their ceviche technique, thanks to the influence of Japanese immigrants. In the past, Peruvian chefs would marinate ceviche for hours. In today's kitchens, the freshest possible fish is flash marinated in lime juice and served within moments. Marinating fish any longer is considered a crime. The key ingredient in Peruvian ceviche? Fish and shellfish only hours out of the sea. Other essential ceviche components. Hot peppers, such as the ají limo and ají amarillo finely slivered red onion, fragrant limes, and as a garnish, chunks of sweet potato, plantain chips, a type of popcorn called concha, and nuggets of choclo, the giant Peruvian corn on the cob. Every cebicheria ceviche includes a bonus known as leche de tigre, or tiger's milk. The spicy juices from the marinade, drawn off and consumed separately. Hungry for ceviche? Let's stop at Shea Wong, Javier Wong's eight-table establishment in Lima's industrial La Victoria district. Shea Wong is a warike, or closed-door restaurant, where the chef cooks only for friends. There is no menu. In Chef Wong's view, a menu would be too constraining. But you can always count on finding ceviche here, which the chef makes to order masterfully slicing red onion and ahi limo, sea bass and cooked octopus, seasoning with salt and fresh lime juice, then sending the dish on its way. Now that's fast food. Chef Wong claims that his ceviche never turns out the same way twice. Sometimes he cubes the sea bass, brushes it with sesame oil, and tops it with ahi limo, fresh pressed garlic, and lime juice. For people in the know, this modest cebicheria supplies a quintessential Peruvian dining experience. At restaurant Cala in Lima, chef Ivan Kisik prepares elegant ceviches and presents them with contemporary flair. This is the classic ceviche that we have. Just fish, red onion, chili, Peruvian chili, uh, lemon juice, coriander, and that's it, salt and pepper and you serve it very, very fresh. The next one is a mixed ceviche. You have calamari, you have a calamari octopus fish, and you, the lemon juice, we mix it with a mix of chili paste. This one, it's a conchas negras, black clams, if you wanna call it like that. This one is a different one. It's a, with a coriander sauce. This coriander is a, a coriander paste. The paste will mix it with the lemon juice. And we put some octopus and some fish. It's very nice. Japanese immigrants in Peru put yet another stamp on ceviche, altering the dish with their miraculous knife skills. The result is tiradito, similar to Japanese sashimi. For tiradito, the raw fish is sliced thin then dressed with lime juice and Peruvian peppers. And unlike ceviche, 
Tiradito does not include onions. At Acurio's restaurant Lamar in Lima, the tiradito has local flavor. The chef uses a small fish called pejere from the area and plentiful herbs, which are popular in that region. And what we do here is like lime, chile, all, all, always lime and chile is the tiradito thing, always, always, lime and chile. It depends on uh, the type of lime, the changes and all. But Peruvian lime, which is different from Mexican lime, it's a small one, which is more flavor. And, uh, um, and chile, after that you can put whatever you want. The DNA of Peruvian food is the chile. The chile is in 100% in of the dishes in Peru. Peruvian chile aquí. It's aji amarillo, a rocoto, a jipanca, or all of them are the, what distinguish Peruvian food from other food. I mean, if you see a recipe, for example, in a stew, the 80% of the recipe is the same in every, in every culture. I mean, in European food, in Peruvian food, the recipe, the 80% is the same. You put the onions, blah, 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 and everything. And uh, so if you close your eyes and you taste something, you, you, can, you can say, for example, oh, okay, this is Italian. Why? Because we have tomato flavor, olive oil flavor, garlic, or this Mediterranean flavors. If you have like French food, you'll, you'll taste, you'll know it because you have cream or butter or something like that. When you have uh, Japanese food, you taste it because you have soy sauce and all that. So in Peru, this flavor that makes Peruvian is the chile, the ají.